In this video, I want to talk about sorting records with your FileMaker client software. Now, in this video, we'll be mostly focusing on FileMaker Pro Advanced. Now, this is a universal skill set that pretty much everyone needs to know, and it works generally the same on Go and WebDirect. There are a couple subtleties, and we'll point those out as we go along. Now, first off, it's important to note that whenever you run a sort, the records that will be sorted will be from the current found set. So if I do a sort right now, it's going to sort just the found set. Now to access the sort, we press the sort button right here, or we go up under records. We select the sort records menu option. Now, of course, you might want to use a keyboard shortcut for this. You'll want to memorize that. It's going to be command or control S. Now, for those of you who have thought about this or seen our scripting videos, to activate the script workspace, that's command or control shift S. So that's an extra key with your finger there. Now, if you're a FileMaker developer, this is something that you will intuitively learn over a short period of time and it will just become automatic. Now, these are the fields over here and these are the fields we're actually going to sort by. Now, at the top of the screen, you're going to see a selector that allows you to select the fields just from the current layout or all the fields that are from the entire table. Now, by default, you will see the fields just from the layout. Now, this can be handy for a couple different reasons. The first one is that if you have end users that are trying to sort, then they will be restricted by default to just the fields that are on the layout, so it will cause less confusion. Now, as a developer, another very clever option is to build layouts for just the fields you want the end user to be able to sort. So that's that layout restriction pretty cool. And now, of course, it goes without saying that if you have all sorts of funky fields like ID this, these fields will naturally be suppressed from the sort order if they're not on the layout. So make sure if you're training your users to do sorts, make sure that they try to stay on the current layout if possible. Now, of course, by doing this, this minimizes the cognitive overhead that they're likely to encounter if they see a short list that they understand versus a really long list with fields that they've never heard of before. I'm gonna go ahead and select name last, maybe name first. Now each of these I can select here. I can also specify whether they're ascending or descending. So A through Z or Z through A, that type of thing. I can select sort right here and it does it pretty quickly. We have our found set here, and now we have a sorted indicator right here. It's pretty straightforward once again. I can actually go to the list view right here and I can see that they are sorted by last name first and then by first name. I can also change the sort order or I can unsort by pressing the sort button again and then choosing a different option. Now this brings up a really interesting question. What is unsorted? Well, unsorted is the natural state of a FileMaker table or custom application, right? It's the data in the database. The unsorted state is the order in which the records are created from beginning to end. That means if you open a FileMaker application and you don't run a sort command on the records at all, the records will appear in the order that they were created. Now, of course, the question comes up, how can I permanently resort the records, right? Well, there's no way to permanently resort the records. Now, right about now, someone is arguing with this video, probably throwing paper at me, and yelling at me that it is possible to permanently resort the records. Okay, you can permanently resort the records, but it is a tremendous amount of work. It generally involves exporting the records, then dumping the data out of the FileMaker database, or at least in that table, then re-importing those records. So it's not something that's really easily done. Which brings us back to the sort command. The sort command is a temporary state that you can put the database into. So it's a command that runs and it temporarily rearranges the records until that information is dumped out of the computer. So until you basically close or quit that FileMaker file, it will stay sorted based upon the context of that layout on that particular window. Now keep in mind the sort order is specific to the current found set. So if once again, if I go into the sort dialog, and I can specify first name and last name, and it's somewhat arbitrary. I can press the sort button and we have our sort. Now, what if I perform a new find right now? Let's go ahead and do a find for AR, right? That's one of my favorite searches. And instantly we see we have a new found set, but it is unsorted, which means that when you create a new found set or you change the found set, 
the sort order is dumped. We have a stack of new records in our found set, and those records will be in the order in which they were created relative to each other. And once again, we could do a new sort if we wanted, and it would sort this specific found set. So just keep this in mind. Let me go ahead and grab my mouse again here, and I'm going to show you a pretty cool tool. So the last name is AR. That's not very exciting, but the first names are kind of random. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click on the first name and say Sort Ascending, or I could say Sort Descending. Now, this is really handy in FileMaker. It allows me to quickly, by using a right-click, specify a field to sort by. As a developer, I use this all the time. In fact, I use this almost exclusively when I'm just using the database because normally I only care about sorting by one field. Of course, right-clicking only allows you to sort by one field. So if you need a criteria list of sort options, you know, first, second, third priority, then you have to use the regular dialog for that. Now in table view in FileMaker, you can actually press on these. Click on the option and all sorts of additional features come up. Now, table view isn't available in WebDirect at all, and it's available with limited features in FileMaker Go, but the concepts are the same. Now, a couple interesting options about sorting. 95% of the folks out there, when they're setting up sorts, only use ascending and descending. Now, keep in mind, you can do ascending and descending for dates and times and names and numbers. You can actually sort by dollar amounts of an invoice and that's pretty slick. Now you can also do a custom sort order by value list, which is really handy. So say, for example, you have invoices and you have paid and unpaid and canceled, etc. Well, you could actually have those in a value list like we have an FM starting point. Then you can do a sort by that custom value list. And then maybe the second sort option is the invoice date. So then you would have a grouping of paid invoices and a grouping of unpaid invoices. And then within those groups, you could have them grouped by date. Maybe the date that the invoice was created or maybe when it was paid. Either way, that's a really good example and a cool tool. So custom sort options based upon value list can be really handy. Now down here at the bottom, it's an option that FileMaker kind of came out with and it received a lot of debate within the community. And it's an option that will force FileMaker to keep the records sorted if possible. Now, if you check it right here, and then we go to list view. As new records are added to the database, either by you or someone else, your copy of FileMaker Pro or Go will automatically resort that table of information to keep it in the proper sorted order. Now, this can be pretty handy, but it can be a performance drag too. So the other day I was on a list view and the database was kind of chugging a little bit. You could tell it was like stuttering. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. And I was looking at a list view. A sort order had been applied to the list view. And that checkbox to keep it sorted was turned on. Well, what I didn't realize is that one of my other staff was logged into the same file. It was a test file. And they were adding records. And so as they were adding records to the server, the server then would notify me that a new record was available. And it would load it down into my client. And then my client, seeing that it had to keep the list sorted, would resort. And it would do it really quickly, but it would cause this kind of a, a stutter or a, or a lugging a little bit of sluggishness. But it would be kind of erratic. It would be there and it'd be gone. Then a couple seconds later, be back and almost, you know, cyclical. So keeping records sorted is powerful. Just keep in mind that if you use this option, especially in a script and the users don't know that it's running, it might lead to some unintended interaction where someone reports the database is doing weird things, right? So that covers your basic sorting overview.